For these kids, the simple mosquito carries a deadly threat. This is Vietnam's Thay Ninh province, where villages sit alongside rubber plantations, a breeding ground for malaria. Today, a group of Australian parliamentarians meets a local family. Both of the children have serious health problems. A recent mosquito net distribution means these children are protected from malaria, except when their dad is at work in the plantations. It's a reminder that this mission's not over. More nets are needed. Since 2002, the Global Fund partnership has saved 17 million lives. Australia's contributed $600 million to that effort. And for every Australian dollar contributed, the Global Fund has spent 15 here in the Asia-Pacific region. In Asia, it's a concentrated epidemic amongst uh, what we call key affected populations. So saving lives and engaging people that are highly stigmatised is a tremendous um, uh, contract, if you will, uh, with those communities. On the outskirts of Hanoi, that focused investment is a support clinic. Here, HIV positive injecting drug users are putting their lives back together. This group has enjoyed the clinic's support. They now act as mentors. Do you have um, your own wives and children? And have they had any problems with HIV? Uh, and how has that worked out? Và khi đứa trẻ ra đời thì lại được uống tiếp mấy dự phòng tiếp của con khi mới sinh ra. Bây giờ đứa trẻ ra đời thì nó không bị nhiễm như, như bố mẹ. Đứa trẻ sống khỏe mạnh bình thường. Bây giờ cháu được 8 tuổi. The Global Fund mission recognizes the human lottery of infectious disease such as multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. How many medicines are you on? So every day I take over 10 pills. Are there any side effects from the medicine? The world now has an historic chance to end these three great epidemics, but this will only happen if people remain at the centre of the response. Continued political and financial commitment is absolutely critical.